Hi, I'm back. I know I've been gone for like a year. I'm not gonna make a long intro about it. I hate long intros. I know you just wanna get to the point. Um, I was gone for a year. I had a baby in the middle of a pandemic and it was exhausting and the world's kind of exhausting right now. And all you need to know is I'm back. If you care, I'm back. And I'm excited to be back. I've got a lot of um, new content that you're going to see on a regular basis. And I've got fun stuff coming up. And that's fun. So, hope you stick around. And let's get into it. Before we get into it, I feel like if you're new to my channel, hey, hi, what's up? You know the drill. Um, here, I'm not a beauty guru. I'm not a beauty guru. I'm not. Wow, I'm not. Um, I don't claim to be, as you can hear. <laughs> um, I don't want to be. I'm simply just a gal who loves makeup, spends a lot of money on her makeup against her husband's wishes. <laughs> um, and I think in this world of creators getting paid for their opinions, even though they say they're not, and influencers and all that thing I think it's refreshing to have someone who's just innocently here on the tube on the YouTube um, to have fun and play around with makeup and if you like the products I use and my opinions on those you can go buy it for yourself um yeah so welcome hang around we have fun here or I have fun hopefully you have fun <laughs> okay so today I'm really just gonna do a quick, you know, get ready with me um, in quarantine look. It's not a super glam, it's kind of just what I've been doing to make myself feel better while we're all in this weird funk of a world right now. Um, sometimes Some things are open, some things aren't, and you know, life's just strange. And um, we gotta do things to make ourselves feel normal and whole and beautiful and if that means I'm putting makeup on to just walk from my kitchen to my couch and back again and change some diapers I'm gonna do it because it does make a big difference so today's is gonna be really simple um I'm gonna be using some new products that are I think gonna be in the Sephora sale that's going on right now I think they're having their holiday sale so I figured that you can buy some of these products if you like the ones that I use um, and you can save money that I didn't get to save because I bought all of it full price like an idiot. Um, so yeah, some of the products you'll be able to buy on Sephora, um, hopefully not Ulta things. I'm gonna try to not use things that are only at Ulta. Okay, let's get into it. I already said that. Okay, so first I'm going to prime my eyes with the MAC Painterly Paint Pot. Um, I always do my eyes first just because of fallout you know um, sometimes happens from eyeshadow and I don't really want to go through the process of doing all of my complexion makeup and then it just falls on my face and I have to like redo my under eyes anyways so that's how I do it you do it however you want do whichever one first I do not care and I will not judge you all right so I think today I'm gonna use this palette the Pure X Raw Beauty Christy palette. Um, it came out like, what, two months ago, three months ago now. Um, it's fantastic. I don't know if it's still for sale. Sorry. Again, now that I'm back, guys, I'll be better about the hyped up products that you know I buy, so. Um, yeah, if you can still get it, I highly recommend it. Um, it's perfect for travel, whenever we can all do that normally again. Um, it's got two sides, so. I love these shades. They swatch amazing. There's not really much fallout. Um, they stay for ages. It's just been my go-to palette. I'm reaching for it in every instance. Love it. So yeah, I'm gonna use that today. So I'm gonna take the Morphe M506 brush. She a guru. No, she's not. And I think I'm just gonna go in with the Told You shade right there. Um, so I have hazel eyes. And for my everyday look, I kind of just like to um, emphasize my eyes a little bit. Uh, so I put a darker shade in my crease and blend that out. And then I'll just put uh, like a matte and then probably a shimmer shade on my lid. So, like, I'm not kidding. Like, look how nice that is. Don't worry, I'm going to blend it out. I know you're probably like, oh, girl, like you are not a beauty guru, is you? 
No. But I know the basics. I know the basics. Yep. I also just want you guys to know that I am doing this the day after the election because I'm a psycho. Um, no, it's truly just because I need to do productive things. Um, my son is asleep. Yeah, I'm doing a get ready with me at night. Don't judge me. Um, and I just, like, I'm just over it, you know? Like, I just just want to have some fun, play in some makeup, make my life a little better tonight. So that's what I'm going to do. So this shade, I love, like honestly, I think I use this told you shade every time I reach for this palette in my crease. And it just, oh, they, I love this palette. Like, way to knock it out of the park. Way to knock it out of the park. I think this also might have been my first pure purchase. Yeah, I think so. And I'm super happy with it. Great quality. Um, it was a fantastic price point, especially because you're getting 18 shades, um, and a mirror, Ugh, two mirrors, two. <laughs> okay, so I think next, I think I'm just going to stay neutral because I will use pops of color like on an, like in an everyday look. Um, I just don't think I'm going to do it today. <laughs> Sorry for the hype there. Um, cool. So I'm going to use the... Mm, mm, mm. Do I plan things ahead of time? No, I don't. Uh, the it just, do it just Does shade right here. Super. Yeah. It looks a little more orangey on camera than it does actually in person. It's like an apricot color. Did you see all that kick? Yeah, look at that. I swear it's not that bad. Like, I know that looks like a lot, but it actually goes on really well. So I'm just going to... Yeah, I'm putting that shade on my outer corner. Um, I find that this shade and shades like this really emphasize my hazel eyes um, that look kind of dark right now, but they are hazel. <laughs> um, and also other shades that are gonna kind of brighten your hazel eyes or your brown eyes um, are gonna be like purples really do it. Uh, really bright, like navy blue eyeliners bright navy blue that's not a thing <laughs> any like vibrant navy that's not a thing either you know what I mean like those let me just show you these type of blues this is a Marc Jacobs eyeliner um I will put that on sometimes when I'm doing my everyday look if I don't want to put shadow on I'll just chuck that eyeliner on and my eyes will pop out of my face and it's quite nice so highly recommend that cool so I think that is good. See, like, oh, who is she? Not a guru. <laughs> um, okay, I'm gonna now go in with the My Whole Heart shade, which is this like really neutral shade. It's probably not gonna show up on camera that well, um, but it's just like a really, on my skin tone, it's pretty close to like my natural skin right now because it's winter and I'm pale AF. And I didn't get out much this summer because hashtag quarantine. Um, so I'm not as tan as I like, sorry, as I normally would be this time of year. Um, that's my excuse and I'm sticking to it. So yeah, it just kind of used it to like blend into that apricot color, you know, tone it down just a little bit. Cause again, this is an everyday look. So I just want it to be really nice and blended. Um, I hope you guys aren't like super pissed at my technique because I learned from YouTube just like majority of everybody so makeup artists don't come for me <laughs> okay so I think that's disgusting that's my dog hacking up a lung yeah okay so I think I am gonna do eyeliner. Um, some days, you know, I just throw on some mascara after putting eyeshadow on. Other days, I go in with eyeliner. So, um, I think I am going to, yeah, why not? You guys are here for that, right? Yeah. So I'm gonna use the Tom Ford Eye Defining Pen. Um, this was expensive, not gonna lie, but 
It has lasted me two years. Name another eyeliner that lasts you that long. I have so many eyeliners, like I buy every eyeliner when it comes out, and none of them, you guys, have ever lasted me two, over two years. Like, they barely last me six months. So I think that this product, although expensive, is definitely worth the price. Like, just is. I think it's the only Tom Ford product I actually have. I don't know, like, do you guys spend a lot of money on your eyeliners? Like, I've, I don't know if you've watched any of my other YouTube videos, have done like a million eyeliner reviews <laughs> out of my four videos. Wow, wow. Um, I have done them. Uh, and my issue is with the felt tips, which this does have, I don't know if you can tell, it's like that, and then it's got this like awesome, super sharp side that just really gets your wing awesome. Um, and every time I use a felt tip, can anyone talk when they do a wing? Honestly, like if you can. You're better than me. You just are. Bam. Look at that. Quacha. She tiny. She a tiny wing. But I'm here for it. It's cutie. I'm here for it. It's cute. Um, okay, so I'm just going to do the other wing really quick because, like, you don't need to see me do two. And I don't need that kind of pressure. So I'll be right back. I'm back. One second for you. Ten minutes for me. Right into some alignment issues as we all do with wing liner. It's a love-hate relationship. Anyways, I'm back. I'm gonna put on the Lash Freak Urban Decay Mascara. It's got this really nice brush. Sorry if it's like a terribly, ugh. Your girl doesn't have money for a camera. Like, I do this all for free. You're welcome for this content. This is the content you asked for for quarantine. Anyways, I've actually been converted to like drugstore back to drugstore mascaras. I've been like really vibing with them. Um, and I was kind of like, I'm never gonna spend $25 on a mascara ever again because I found so many good dupes. Like I've been like loving the L'Oreal Telescopic Mascara. I don't know why I ever stopped using that. I used to use that in high school and Ulta does deals on that mascara so much. Like you can get like two for the price of one and it's like, I think $6, don't quote me on that, I'm probably wrong, but it's under $10. And I think, and it's really good. So I recommend that one. I also was liking the Lash Paradise, um, which I know a lot of people um, find is a, a dupe for the Better Than Sex from Too Faced. And it is, but it's also like not. <laughs> And please don't hate me for saying that. I'm sure a lot of you really love it. Um, yes, I do take this long on my mascara because I don't like using falsies um, for everyday looks. Like, let's just be real. I'm, I'm just not one of those girls that's gonna go wear false lashes. I have false lashes, um, but I just don't wear them every day. So anyways, I find that the Lash Paradise uh, dries out really fast. So, and it is still like $15 or something or $12, which like isn't a lot or anything considering I used to pay for, I used better than sex for years. Um, but it just dried out really fast. I'm like, I'm just not about that life. Uh, so L'Oreal Telescopic, great. Um, and then I got, you know, this, tried this Urban Decay Lash one on like a whim and I'm loving it. It's got like the little, it's got the same setup as the L'Oreal brush the L'Oreal telescopic brush where it's got like the little ones that kind of like jab up. <laughs> and then it's also got these ones on the end that are kind of for like separating your lashes when you get clumps. So I don't know. It did take me like a second to kind of get used to this this one. It It's very um, full of product. I'll put it that way. So, you know, take that as you may. It does, it puts a lot of product on the brush. Um, and so I constantly have to be um, taking it off because it's a lot and it, it will clump if you don't rake it through which is what I'm doing right now sorry this took like 10 years but I'm an honest bitch 
you know, I don't own, I don't owe Urban Decay anything. I'll show you how long it takes to put on their friggin' mascara. Seven years, guys. Almost as long as we've been in quarantine. I went there. I think that's good. I think that's... Hey, for it. Don't talk like that. Okay, so, and if you do want to try this, I bet you it's on the Sephora sale. So grab the Lash Freak Urban Decay as a steal, as a deal. Not full price. Good time to try it um, if you're skeptic. So I'm going to go in for facial complexion stuff now. Um, I'm going to do the Cover FX Gripping Primer. Um, gripping and firming primer. This stuff, I, if you've seen any of my previous videos, I think I used it in like my last one from like a year ago or something. I don't know. Um, it does go on kind of like glue. Like you can rub it in and then it starts to kind of get like tacky, which is fine because that means it's going to grab the product. So I don't have an issue with that. Um, yeah, it's nice. It, it, you know, I've gone to Florida and used this and my makeup does not move, does not come off. And I find that that's really handy in a time where we're having to wear masks and take them on and put them off and take them on and put them off. And, you know, I can't always go to the bathroom every time I just take my mask off and make sure that my nose right here, that the foundation hasn't come off. So I need something where I can trust that it's at least going to help a little bit with that situation. I understand like it's always going to, at least for me, it always is going to come off a little bit from my nose. Um, but this does help. So I'm going to now use the Beauty Blender Foundation. I have done a review on this before. Yes, I'm still using it. Yes, it's probably in the Sephora sale. So you should go out and get it. I don't know if the Cover FX Gripping Primer, I think I actually got it at Ulta, but I, I don't think it's an Ulta exclusive, but just double check because if you can get that on sale, I highly recommend it. I remember when it was, wow, I talk a lot, huh? <laughs> um, the gripping primer I actually got because Tati recommended it. Loved Tati. Um, but she's gone now. She's disappeared. I hope she's okay. Um, we all know that situation. If you're watching me, you probably watch makeup videos on the reg. We know that tea. Um, and, you know, it is what it is. But anyways, she recommended it, and I actually bought it. I look great right now. And um, I love it. Like, But it was sold out for ages. And I just can't remember if it was sold out from Sephora or Ulta. Whatever, you'll figure it out. I trust that you're like really smart. I mean, you're watching this video, so you've gotta be pretty smart. Always go down my neck, on my ears. And yeah, I know on here it's looking like it doesn't match me and it's like super white. That is simply just because like I, it might look like I'm tan, um, I'm not, I actually have a lot of red in my face and beauty lights sometimes just make that come off as like a tanner tone. Um, so I do need a, a foundation that's going to cover my redness um, up, my rosacea, what do you, whatever you want to call it. It's a huge insecurity of mine, so super cool. Like I'm just not one of those girls that like if she doesn't wear makeup, she looks flawless. Like that's just not me um, because of my red face, <laughs> so. I definitely, especially now with like maskne, um, have to wash my makeup brushes so much more frequently because my skin is just super temperamental since having the baby because of those pregnancy hormones leaving my body and uh, postpartum hormones are no joke. Lost so much hair, so annoying. Um, but it's growing back, back. It's going growing back now in like a really annoying way. Um, so that's fun. But yeah, I have to wash my makeup tools way more frequently than I used to. Like, it's probably gross that I only wash them like once every few weeks <laughs> before. Now I wash them at least once a week if I've been consistently using my makeup products. But like, let's be honest, you know, I don't put makeup on every day. Okay, so that's done. I look like a ghosty, but I'm not. Um, I'm going to go in with the Tarte Shape Tape. And, you know, I know this is an Ulta exclusive, like sorry, you can't get it at the Sephora sale, but Tarte has other concealers you can try from Sephora on the sale. Um, I'm not gonna lie, I think that Tarte Shape Tape changed. I think that they changed the formula because I bought this one 
and I would go grab my old one, but I think I threw it out. And I swear that they changed this font and it looks different. And the fa the, the form formula, blah, blah, blah. the formula itself, it's different. It's, it doesn't like, it's almost more watery uh, than I remember it. And it also falls into my lines more, which is super annoying. Um, like, because I don't normally have crow's feet. Like when I don't have makeup on, I, I don't have crow's feet. Um, but for some reason, if I leave this on for like eight or 12 hours, it's gonna fall into like these teeny tiny crow's feet lines that you don't see if I choose not to wear makeup. So it's emphasizing that and it didn't used to. And you could say, Jenna, you're getting older, you're getting crow's feet and that's what's actually happening. No, no, it's not what's happening. I'm aging in reverse, <laughs> okay? All you little 18 year olds watching me, don't worry, you'll be me someday. You'll be in your late 20s, okay? It happens to everyone. Anyways, I think they changed it. I still like it. I don't know if I'm gonna rebuy it though. I think I'm ready to try a new product. Um, yeah, it's kind of disappointing because I like was a die hard Shape Tape fan. Sorry. Next I'm using the Becca, what is this called? Hydrating? Hydra Mist Set and Refresh Powder. This is an OG for me and I just rebought it after not using it for like a year and a half and so it comes in like this little thing and it's like a net that you push your brush into and when you put it on it feels like wet and it's just like oh, look how look at that difference look at that like I love that I have combination skin I tend to be a little bit more oily um, like my t-zones like oil city so I need a, a powder that's gonna like mattify the crap out of me right away. Um, so this is great. I don't bake under my eyes. I don't really like baking period, unless it's like wedding, like I'm in a wedding and it's wedding glam or I'm going to a wedding or like some formal event, um, just because I don't think that baking is an everyday necessity. Um, that's just my opinion. Like it's just, it looks heavy when you do it. So like it looks natural, but it just, it's not for me for every day, so. Okay, powder is in, she's cute. Like, look at, I love that powder. And it will stay like this all day. Might get like a little bit oily, but it's just been the best thing I've used, so. Um, next, I'm going to use the Marc Jacobs Tantastic. Um, I'm a diehard of this. It's actually already on sale at Sephora, um, which is great. It, I think it was normally like almost 50 bucks and it's $33 and I don't know if there's like an additional discount with the holiday sale. If there is, even if there's not, definitely run out and try it. It comes in I think two different shades and look how big it is. Like it's so good. I have hit pan once and I rebought and it took me a year and a half to hit pan of using this consistently. So um, let me show you how I do bronzer because I think a lot of people are not doing their bronzer right. So this is how I do it. Um, I'm gonna take the product here and I'm just gonna lightly stipple. Just like that. I'm not gonna go any lower because I don't wanna create a five o'clock shadow. And of course I go into my hairline. I have a very intense widow's peak and a five head. So your girls constantly, I just got a middle part too and it's giving me anxiety. Um, so a reason that you don't want to do your, your bronzer where you put it like here and go up. And I know everyone tells you to do that because, um, it's going to make your face go upwards. <laughs> so it doesn't look so saggy, but the problem is you're depositing the product here and you're going up. So the, all that heavy product that's getting that first touch is going to be on that part of your face. Sorry about that technical difficulty. My beauty light just decided to shut off mid sentence. Um, so anyways, I think what I was saying was when you deposit that product like that, you're going to give yourself the five o'clock shadow and it's also going to make it just that much harder to blend out that line that you're giving yourself. Um, as you can see, I still obviously do it here and I will stipple it up here too. I just find that it, it just puts that and you can do it after. I mean, but I just find that it, you know, depositing it here and kind of just lightly stippling just gives you a really nice shadow. Obviously, if you're wanting to contour, that's a whole different technique and also I wouldn't use this brush. 
So this is again, just for my everyday look. Chisel up my jawline a bit cause like quarantine's giving me a little teeny double chin. I was pregnant and then I came into quarantine and it's just been like a cluster. <laughs> so truth bomb. Um, cool, so that's donezo. Just like a nice little, um, I'm gonna use the NARS Oasis, which also is a great, you know, purchase for Sephora. This is the shade. It's got like, you can see those little glitter flakes. It's not as glittery as it looks in the pan. Um, you'll see when it's on my face. NARS has amazing blushes. I'm sure you've heard of Orgasm. Everyone talks about Orgasm. Haha. <laughs> Um, and it is great. I just really like this Oasis. It's a really good one for my skin tone, so highly recommend if you're going with that. I am using an old MAC brush, MAC blush brush. I think it's 110. I don't know. I can't see. So, um, yeah, I'll try that. So, and even with my blush, I'm actually going to stipple that as well. Same reasoning as before. I don't want to swipe my product. I don't want to swipe my, all that work that I just did to get my complexion nice off. Just lightly, you know go up. If you're looking for where you want to put your blush, that's a cool trick. Do that. That will tell you where you should be depositing your blush so that you're not going too close to your nose, making yourself kind of look a little sickly instead of just like a little bit, a little bit rosy, you know? Okay. It's really all I want just to kind of rose up my cheeks because it's cold out. Um, oh, I love this product. So for my highlight, I'm gonna use this Jouer um, Rose Quartz Powder Highlighter in, in rose, like, colors rose quartz. Um, I'm gonna use a fan brush. I, I'm like a fan of using a fan brush for highlighter. Um, this, watch, I'm gonna look like a glazed donut. Barely put any on. She glazed. Okay, I, even on my day, everyday looks, I love glazing to the gods. And just like my highlight be popping, like I'm here for it. Um, I just like it. So I can't say enough about this. I bought this on a whim one day. It was like on that side part of the Sephora stalls. Um, and it's been my favorite highlighter since. Um, so definitely if this is on sale, on the Sephora sale, get this. The Jouer Powder Highlighter. This is the shade Rose Quartz. Let me show you the shade once more. I can't say enough good things about this product. I broke the first one I ever got and I still used it. So like, oh, I love it. So nice. So nice. One more product I'm going to use is just for my brows. I'm everyday makeup. I go for a super natural look on my brows. I've actually been into a really natural look on my brows lately anyways. I'm not really like filling them in that much. I have, as you can tell, pretty full brows to begin with, so I don't need tons of filling. I just want to make them look polished. Um, I am going to use the brow microfilling pen from Benefit. Bit of a letdown for me. I bought into the hype on this 100%, and it's got like those cool three little prongs that are supposed to give you that micro... Um, brow look and it does but it it the it just doesn't come out enough like you kind of have to go over it a lot you know which is like frustrating um it just doesn't seem like there's a lot of product coming out at once which is nice um but it's like really hard to see the product um so I do like it because it's like a very natural finish it's just like a little bit hard to finesse it comes out very wet feeling but yet you don't really see where you placed it because of the three prongs, if that makes sense. I don't know, guys. It's just, it's a different product for sure. But it does leave a nice natural look. So that's all I'm going to do. Um, yeah, this is my look today. My hair is like disgusting, but like I'm going to use the excuse of I'm a mom. I'm a mom now. So this is just, and we're in quarantine. Like this is what we have to deal with. Okay. So yeah, that's it. Um, hope you liked the video, all of that jazz. I will be doing weekly videos now. So keep checking back. I'm not going anywhere. I swear. I literally can't go anywhere because we're all in quarantine, um, to an extent. So yeah, I will see you guys next time and we'll hang out and have some fun. <laughs> Sorry. I'm so weird. No, I'm not. I like being weird. Whatever. Bye.